Hey, good day everyone. Les here from BG Trading. Hope you are well. Today is 30 of August 2024 and then we are going to be looking to Appen, which has released its uh, first half year uh, financial results for uh, the calendar year 2024. Uh, we're going to be looking to uh, the variables that has made the stock to fall and also what is the outlook for uh, potentially uh, buying back Appen and uh, which is the level that we'll be looking buying back Appen provided that we have recently uh, done a 75% profit trade on Appen together with uh, some of our VP members. I'm um, going to be looking at the new entry point for Appen based on uh, the chart formation. Let's have a look. Remember, this is not a financial advice, just as from BG Trading, sharing with you how we apply our strategies to know when to uh, buy and when to sell stocks how we set up targets, stop losses, and how we avoid uh, buying stocks in the formal area, which is one of the most common mistakes by traders, and much more. So if you like, please subscribe, share this video, and hit the like button, help us, because hitting the like button will spread the view on this video. Now, let's jump straight into... Um, the report that we received today. So they're supposed to re release the report yesterday, but for some reason they did today. Anyway, the the, the key fundamental metrics that we like is ob obviously uh, the EBITDA improving. Uh, as you can see here, it's sort of last quarter has become uh, slightly positive or profitable. And here's where the promise the promise lies. If the next few quarters, let's say like next three quarters, uh, the, the, the Appen really delivers uh, EBITDA positive in every single quarter, and these EBITDA results are a sort of uh, improving from this one, uh, from $600,000 uh, uh, goes into like maybe one million and then uh, keep, keep sort of moving upwards, then that's when uh, I think uh, we will see a major movement on the stock in order to, uh, you know, like as investment sort of grade again. But at the moment, the app is still extremely risky because we depend on data uh, every single month, every single quarter, and that's very uh, dangerous. As uh, Appen has already rallied, has pretty much doubled uh, in value which means it's not at a technically discounted price anymore. It's not at a really a, a cheap value uh, as per the risk reward now is a lot higher. So we just got to understand that. So um, uh, one thing that really worth looking is that uh, uh, Appen is really taking advantage of generative AI uh, with their clients. So it's... Um, it's imperative to, to see that there is significant growth from uh, second half of uh, FY23 to the first half of FY24, uh, uh, provided that we don't have any seasonality here because this is not a, like a retail company, it's actually a tech company. I would say this is a pretty good jump. And if uh, this uh, continues, if it happen, uh, manage to deliver this revenue growth on continuous uh, base, we are very likely to see in the neck in the second half of the calendar year, uh, FY twenty four, which is also the the, the financial year for Appen, we're very likely to see a uh, revenue uh, a break even or above what Appen was generating. Uh, before losing Google accounts. Uh, so obviously uh, the Chinese market has been one of the key uh, uh, he help hit for Appen to uh, start sort of uh, improve its fundamentals once again. As you can see here, the, re uh, the record revenue for China in Q2. And if you look Q1 FY23, Q2 FY23, and then now Q2 FY24, uh, it's uh, uh, almost like 
almost doubled from the last uh, uh, the last um, the same period uh, last financial year. So it's a significant improvement, and that's exactly what we wanted to to uh, be looking at. So enter enterprise government revenue is still sort of uh, uh, hanging there. Uh, so I think the whole the, the promise really lies in gener uh, generative AI and how uh, Chinese market, the customers in China, will reflect into the company growth. That's why I think we'll be betting at the moment. But if you look in the fundamentals, still the company is still uh, uh, reporting a, a loss for the year and uh, obviously is improved from the last financial year. Uh, Appen has about $34 million in a cash a balanced uh, so it's uh, it's not too bad uh, if Appen becomes uh, in fact indeed uh, EBITDA positive. Now the strategy Appen is specialized in high quality data that brings human expertise into AI model development. So it's a quite complex uh, business, but what we really wanted to be looking at uh, is uh, the fact that Appen uh, has a major client that um, that continues to <laughs> use the services. Let's see if I see the page which shows uh, the clients here, oh, that was on my stock analysis. So they uh, still uh, have major clients, even though has lost Google. Uh, and the promise is that those uh, major clients uh, continues to contribute positively to uh, the overall uh, revenue growth uh, for the upcoming quarters. So that's positive. And about the, net, the uh, statutory loss, net loss after tax, as you can see here, there was a, a significant improvement from $47 million in June 30, 2023 uh, to now uh, June 30, 2024, which has reduced from $43 million to $17 million. Look, still a net loss company, which is a, which makes uh, a very dangerous trade or investment for these stocks, still kind of on the speculative side. Uh, and even the statutory EBITDA, because a lot of uh, uh, companies, they are EBITDA, they are net loss, but they, they actually EBITDA positive, and then they make a loss out of uh, interest, uh, like a sort of a depreciation and amortization. So for Appen, uh, so we're still at the six million dollar net loss for uh, the first half of this uh, this financial year. Remembering that Appen reports on a calendar year, the financial year for Appen is in a calendar year. So uh, we're looking at not the full year, but the first half of FY24. Now let's jump into the stock, the chart formation. Now, if you use BGS20 strategy. So what you want to be looking at uh, is, um, and then we have online courses um, that will teach you exactly how to trade using BGS20 strategy and how to understand all the, 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 the indicators, the technical indicators that we are uh, talking about here in this video. But one of the key indicators for us is the Hekenach. We, we want to see how the chart looks like on the Hekenach. And as you can see here, we have uh, several green candles, which uh, Appen has rallied 337% uh, back in February, which by the way, we did trade Appen at that rally as well. And uh, now we had a rally of 210% so far with this uh, recent um, positive reaction to uh, the last quarter result which also we we had a fairly good idea what Appen was going to report in this uh, first half of FY22 anyway. However, the market reaction was actually negative and uh, looking at the chart formation here, we wanted to detect uh, where uh, are the key uh, points which uh, the, 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 could attract 
buyers into this stock again. So the problem is if you look at the past uh, chart formation, uh, like past uh, 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 share price formation, you can see that every time we have these considerable rallies and they start, uh, happen to start falling again, uh, we have like a, almost like two months of, of uh, cons con consistent falls. And normally those falls come in high volume. So this uh, this fall has intensified today with this uh, financial report reaction. Now, look at whether this is a true movement in the market. We don't know, but uh, provided that happen is a, a very, uh, sorry to say dangerous, but very speculative stock at this stage. What we want to be doing is using BGS20 strategy. We want to buy Appen at a technically discounted price. Once again, we want to buy Appen at technically discounted price again because we don't want to buy at the top and then lose all our profits. We made 75% profit with some of our VIP members a few weeks ago. And we don't want to lose that profit. That profit has been locked in. But we, if we jump too quickly in this, even if we miss it out, we miss out. That's fine. There are other stocks out there that we can take advantage of. So we just gotta be careful in this one. Now, uh, we have these two uh, so-called hypothetical support levels that could be considerable important. Uh, for buying activity. So every time happen the stock uh, hit, uh, reach this uh, support level, it should be bouncing back. So the current support level that I'm looking at is right where it's sitting at the moment at $1 to $1.10. This is a hypothetical support level. Not as strong, not as strong as 80 cents. So we really want to look into a strong support levels, strong multi-year support levels. I'm going to actually look in, uh, just extend this a little bit more for you so you can see why I'm saying this is a support level. Because uh, the share price has actually uh, uh, broke, broken uh, this level in August. Uh, we're still in August though, but 16th of August has broken. And, uh, and obviously now it is, um, trying to break down. If it breaks down, obviously this support level will become a resistance level and uh, the share price maybe test the next support level, which is uh, represented at A here on this uh, modeling. And let's face, this would be exactly where we like to uh, enter again on Appen. So if you're going to buy Appen, uh, reasonably safe, I would um, be looking at buying at um, this uh, support level here. But remember, Appen is a very volatile stock. It's good, it could uh, go in, during the intraday into this level and then uh, move up again. So the modeling here is, this is a very steep uh, fall. So concerns me when we have those huge red Hickenach candles at the high volume. So I would be expecting, so it's still could be a trade on the short term, uh, buying around $1, which we, in fact I did on my personal account. I bought around $1 today and uh, I'll, I'll, I'm hoping to sell uh, by the end of the day uh, for a profit. But I'm still be expecting uh, a to buy reasonably safely, I would be looking at uh, buying around this next support level, which is once again around 80 cents. So look, uh, if we're going to play for the support level on 80 cents, what we want to be doing is, is we want to have an order set up above 80 cents. So say 81 and a half to 85 cents, okay? You don't have to try pick the bottom. Say 85 cents is good enough if you're going to sell for $1.20 again or $1.40. So uh, in this case, 
Uh, the reason is because it, the, you see those moving averages here. So would it be buying a technically fair price, which is not too bad. It's still not ideal, but I doubt that Appen will, uh, will fall again to uh, 20 cents, uh, like to 30 cents, uh, provided that the company is actually improving its outlook and its fundamentals for uh, the, the second half of this financial year and for FY25. And this huge hype on AI. So I would just uh, be cautioned on uh, on trying to pick up really low here at the 40 cents. But I think uh, around 80 cents will be fairly reasonable to assume that this is a pretty good re-entry uh, reasonably safely because we're going to be the risking uh, on hopes that uh, Appen will be improving, will continue improving as we have modeling uh, its EBITDA and potentially improving the uh, net profitability for next year. I don't think it's going to be profitable, but let's say if it uh, goes close to break even uh, on a full year uh, result, then that is a damn good result and a damn good improvement uh, in comparison to what the business has been over the last uh, the last few years, as you can see, uh, once it was a, a worth about uh, thirty seven dollars. So obviously, I'm not expecting I happen to go up around forty uh, f uh, like of uh, thirty eight dollars again. But look, maybe two dollars would it be realistic? Um, but again. We want to trade this stock. We don't want to be holding or invest, holding on the downturn. So let's wait. Let's give a little bit time. And uh, you see here the RSI as well. I would be uh, expecting uh, to, to see it co happen coming down on RSI as well. This relative uh, strength should come down as well in order uh, to fulfill our modeling and uh, give us confidence of a, an effective entry. This is what we want to be looking at, and that is 30% retracement on RSI, uh, which would continue to show this uh, bullish trend on RSI as well, but and, and in combination with this uh, fall here, around 80 cents. So that's why we are targeting now Appen for 80 to 85 cents entry. Whether that's going to happen, I don't know. In the meantime, we'll keep trading all the stocks, safer stocks. Which brings us to the end of this video. Hope you like and let us know what you think at the comments. Any questions? Again, we're doing a lot of uh, uh, reporting review this week. But I know you guys putting a lot of questions. The interaction this channel has increased remarkably, which I want to thank you for that. Uh, but we're going to be looking at all those comments next week once we digest those uh, this reporting season, okay? Thank you. Have a great weekend. Today's Friday, so enjoy your weekends, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.